Hello people of the internet, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, a happy Monday to you all. Hopefully your week is off to a great start. Let's play a little bit of catch up, shall we? Because I have completely missed the fact that V's full release have finally come around. So we're getting back to it. V's slow dancing, and I saw there was another MV for the song Blue, so we're going to cover both of those today. Now, you were able to check out his pre-release stuff uh, before I went on my break. Or on my hiatus, I should say. And um, these kind of solo musical projects have been a very good time for me as someone who likes a little bit more like the obscure genres of music, especially ones that are a little bit more chill. Of course, with my first foray into V solo music being his Bing Crosby um, Christmas song cover uh, last holiday season. Just hearing him get all jazzy and smooth on a song of that nature was great. It was great fun. And kind of hearing him on his own and really embrace that chill, more like artistic side is very cool to see. So let's see if that continues today. We'll start with slow dancing and then we'll head up blue afterwards. So DJ, roll the intro. Righto, slow dancing. I wonder what this is going to be. I believe this is the official title track to his debut album, which is very exciting. Congratulations, Mr. Taehyung. Um, oh, oh yeah, I do wonder what type. I reckon it's going to be smooth, but what specific type of smooth is this going to be? Let's find out. Don't know why it's done that, but. We move. Oh, hello. Oh my goodness. It's, this song has absolutely no sense of urgency in it, and it's embracing the fact that it's meant to be a really slow and drawn out song, and I love it. Honestly, if we were to look at this song from a syllables per second count, like how one would approach a really quick rap verse, this would be in like the point. Like less, the less than one syllable per second count. Shout out the wind instrument one time. I don't actually know what wind instrument that is off the top of my head, but.
Oh my goodness. Wow. I am. I'm actually kind of lost for words on how to describe that sensation that I felt from that. It's. I expected this to be somewhat smooth and somewhat slow, just based off of his pre-release stuff, and seemingly this is the kind of type of music that V likes to go for, but this was on a whole nother level. There was a... It's... It almost felt intoxicated in a way. So, I don't know how many people will understand this, but... The kind of faint, like really tranquil buzz that this song puts off is reminds me of just getting a little bit toasty. Not like, you know, flat out like blackout drunk, like kissing the porcelain throne drunk. But like one drink in, it's like a little bit warm, but you're still very much coherent. It's got that kind of vibe for me. I don't know why, but it's extremely... It's unlike a sensation that I would usually get from a song of this nature. This song makes me feel like I just kind of... have started existing in a different plane of existence. It just kind of t transports me to a place that's not really real and just leaves me floating in stasis. It's really weird, and it's an oddly specific way for me to describe it that makes kind of no sense at all, but... Slow dancing, it's so slow, and it's so drawn out, and the melodies are so mellow, and they just feel like each note and each phrase just lingers and just extends and just rings forever, and that is... Wow. The thing is, this song, like, the MV is 3 minutes and 10 seconds, but the song felt like it was like 4 and a half minutes long just because of how long everything felt. And that kind of joking phrase where people say time isn't real, genuinely listening to slow dancing almost makes it feel like time just does not have the same value in during the MV as it does in real life, and that's kind of bonkers to me. Did I enjoy it though? Oh hell yeah. Oh hell yeah. Oh my god. And I love the instrumentation choices too. It also adds to that like oddly hypnotizing kind of effect the song has. But I do like the kind of instrumental solo that we get at the end of the song with the... Uh, it's some kind of blown instrument, whether it's end blown or side blown. It doesn't sound like a classic flute or anything of that nature. It feels a little bit more regional. It feels a little bit more natural. So like a, an end blown, like reed flute. The only example I can think of off the top of my head right now is Japanese, but like a shakuhachi, if you know what that is. I like that. I like that they've gone and added a little bit of like a regional flair to the instrumental section at the end. That was very nice. Now let me cue up the second song. I believe it's titled Blue, right? Give me two seconds. And Blue. This song is significantly shorter, only two and a half minute MV, which means the song is probably about 2.20-ish. Which is, I'm a little bit sad by that, just because I'm used to three and a half minute songs being you know, normal. In fact, I'm used to like five minute songs being normal considering my musical like interests stem from 1980s music, so. But you know what? It's 2023, it's the streaming meta to have shorter songs now, and I'm just gonna have to get used to it. So, V's Blue. I'm gonna make a safe bet and say that this is going to be a little bit quicker than slow dancing because. To have a song even slower than slow dancing, I don't think is possible. But let's find out. I'm, I'm very, I very well could be wrong, and I'm, if I am, I'm completely okay with it. So. Why do you keep doing that? Oh. 
Oh, you know what? It's slow. It's a little bit quicker, but not by much. What if I show you and make it on you? Where's the meter? There's the meter. It's in four. And again, it's that kind of jazz influence kicking in. Absolutely not a single straightforward chord in here at all. It's all very tasty chords. But it does have that effect of the kind of more drawn out musical phrases, doesn't it? The top line is a little, it's significantly shorter and firmer, but... but once you get to the verse... Oh, that background harmony. Oh, have a little vocal run one time. Even though this is, you know, a song that's a fraction faster, and it's definitely got some phrases that are a little bit faster, it's a very steady song. In terms of like speed changes, essentially once the tempo is established, there really isn't a whole lot of movement off of it, which is very nice to listen to. Okay, essentially, I think I, I think I get it. V and this, everything we've checked out from a solo project, for me at least, can be described by one phrase. Slow and steady wins the race. He loves this slow, drawn out, almost like pulsing effect that his music provides. And that's very cool for a soloist. It's, it's a type of composition I feel like in the current like soloist standard, so to speak, isn't a very popular style, especially at the time that he released this. So this would have been, well, a week and a half, so two weekends ago. And I'm just thinking, that would have been right after, well, right around the very end or just after the end of the summer release season and dropping it you know, dropping it down to this pace so fast after the summer season is a bold strategy. But the thing is, if you've got a voice like Taehyung does and can really ride the smoothness of the music and the specifically like this type of music like Taehyung does, oh, he can drop this any time of the year and really knock it out of the park. And honestly, he's knocked it out of the park. It's I reckon, I don't know how well this has been received because I haven't really seen a lot of numbers about it. Well, I haven't gone and looking for a lot of numbers for it, but this is one I'd be really curious to see what the uh, like commercial figures are like because this is, this is a very well-known artist, right? but it's a very well-known artist doing a sound that I reckon isn't the most popular type of music amongst the general public. And that's what intrigues me. Mm. As for me personally, as someone who has a very big soft spot for jazz music, 
and just a kind of smoother, like almost like uh, lounge music, if you want to call it lounge music, lounge, slow jazz, big band kind of music you'd associate with like saloons and cigar bars from like the first half of the 20th century in America. That kind of music vibe is one that I do have quite a soft spot for and is a type of sound that you really don't get out of Korea. So to have V put out an entire project that is in that realm is very cool, is very unique, and it's super exciting. Oh, okay. Man, I'm trying to think. Like, looking back on the various individual, like, BTS members and their solo projects over the course of the last, what, two years? Like, we had Jin's Astronaut, absolutely brilliant. RM had his, what was it called? The Indigo Project? Was it Indigo? I feel like RM had a whole bunch of music at the end of last year or like the turn of the year. That I can't remember what they're called. But I remember really enjoying that. I like the wide range of it. J Hope with J. Cole was a shot out of nowhere that I really liked. Jimin's solo was really good. And really, like, V, again, has taken it to a completely different direction than any of the other members and really made his solo project be his solo project. And, like, done it in a way where it's just so quintessentially V. And I love that. I love that. Stayed true. He stayed true. And honestly, I think that's the best way to approach solo debut is to keep it, keep it true to yourself. So shout out, Mr. V. Shout out, Mr. Taehyung. Shout out the music team around him as well. They, they did a really good job with the music on this. But that is it for me today. Thank you all for watching along with me. Hopefully you enjoyed it as much as I did. One last request for me today. Let us work together as a community to bring a little bit of extra happiness back into the world. Whether it be you know, checking with your friends and family, holding the door open for somebody, or even picking up a piece of trash off the street. Just one small act of kindness that may brighten up someone else's day to day. And know that wherever you are in the world, should you ever be going through a tough time in your life, for whatever reason it may be, even though I'm just some guy on the internet who waffles about music in his free time, know that I will always be, ooh, excuse me, know that I will always be a friend, ally, and a shoulder to lean on whenever you need me. So take care of yourselves, take care of each other, spread the love, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.